Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, feels so good to just come on the camera and just kind of like, you know, I get, I get excited to like make these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy them because I actually enjoy making them. So I had um, mentioned that I'm, go I'm actually doing a series and it's an exfoliants, um, chemical exfoliants, like Mark, um, uh, microdermabrasion, chemical peels, laser resurfacing, um, and other um, other exfoliants that I that sensitive skins are able to benefit from. So today, like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to be speaking about separating the peels, all right? Because there's the deep peels, medium peels, and light peels, all right? And I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview. Um, of the the types of peels that they are and what they are geared for what you know what what skins can benefit from it so without further ado I'm gonna jump right into it now deep peels are phenol based and I had mentioned that in my last video and phenol is very caustic and it burns the skin um, these types of peels are very powerful but um, they need to be done with extreme caution and by a physician who ha who is significantly knowledgeable and experienced with these types of peels. Because even though they are they are very effective in like deep lines and wrinkles, um, they are very dangerous. Just because once the chemical has been placed on your skin or on your face, you can't control it. It'll just burn away at the skin. And this specific type of peel burns all the way down into the dermis all right so it's deep and um the anesthesia you're, you're usually under general anesthesia and the the downtime is significant it's about two weeks and another down like um can't talk why can't i ever talk Jeez. Um, another downside is that you af after the peel is performed, your skin turns pure white. And after it turns pure white, I mean, for two weeks, your your skin's gonna be going undergoing like different changes. It's gonna go from pure white, and it's gonna start um, to then turn like like a dark pink, and it's gonna get like all kind of blotchy. You're, you're gonna look like you're gonna look crazy for two weeks. You know, it's it's a very extreme type of peel. So. For the next two weeks, your skin, well, first it'll turn white, and then it's going to start changing into, like, it's going to be raw. It's going to be raw. It's going to be oozing. It's going to it's gonna scab up. I mean, you're not going to look good. You're not going to look good for a while, let me tell you. And another thing is that you need to have, because, it's, because it peeled all the way down into the dermis, which is your live skin. That's where your collagen and elastin and the fibroblasts are being housed. You have got to avoid the sun for the rest of your life. You have literally thinned out the skin down to its live skin. The skin is made up of three layers. There is the epidermal layer, which you see, and that um, consists of five layers. Then there's the dermal layer, um, which consists of two layers. And then there is the subcutaneous fat right under that. So you have literally removed the, the top layer of your skin and you have the live skin exposed so no sun for the rest of your life your the concentration of your sunscreen has to go up significantly so you have got to be a slave to sunscreen forever all right so this is some serious stuff um also this is i mean this type of peel is good for a person who has severely sun damaged skin i mean if your skin is extremely like wrinkled has deep lines especially like around the mouth and you look older than what you should be because you've like probably abused your skin um over the years with like tanning and stuff like that this is what this type of peel is good for i mean if you look in the mirror and you're like oh you know i look like i'm 100 when i'm only like 40 you know so this is what you can benefit from it the good thing is it's the, the effects are permanent and you only do like one in office treatment now the cost it can go anywhere from three to five thousand dollars but it, you just do it once and you're done with it um the home care obviously no sun you have to wear sunscreen most likely you'll have um alpha hydroxy acid creams that they'll recommend and retin-a containing products all right so that's the deep peel all right so they're phenol based all right so that's that then the medium peels um 
are involve um, the ingredient TCA or the trichloroacetic acid and for those of you who did not watch my last video on the chemical peels I will make an annotation somewhere right here with that long word <laughs> um, and this is performed in office with or without anesthesia so depending on how sensitive you are to you know to pain or whatnot so you can ask for anesthesia but you don't have to all right now this peel it peels it, it does remove your epidermal layer but it doesn't peel down as far into the dermis as the um the meat the deep peel the phenol based peel now um this one works great for sun damaged um and pigmentation discoloration it has um, it gives slight improvement in fine lines and wrinkles just because it doesn't go into all the way into the dermis and that's where your wrinkles like your deep wrinkles and lines really start to form because it all starts with the um, um, your collagen being um, targeted by the UV rays so that's a whole nother video but yeah so it that's where your deep wrinkles and lines begin to form is deep in the um, the dermis because the because of the um, degeneration of the collagen molecules all right it has um it has no effect on acne scars and i'm thinking maybe it doesn't have any effect on like cystic ac acne cystic acne scars because those are depressed scars and they go into down into the dermis whereas i'm thinking it has to i mean if you're peeling off the epidermal layer the superficial layer you know regular acne scars like you know just the post inflammatory acne scars I'm pretty sure it'll get rid of that but I think is speaking specifically about the cystic acne scars because it wouldn't make no sense if it doesn't have any effects on those the superficial scars you know what I'm saying but anyway so it lasts about two to five years the downtime is about five to seven days so it's not too bad and the cost is around fifteen hundred more or less not really sure more or less um, 1500 on your face or your chest or the backs of your hands for home care um, it'll include like you know your regular maintenance which you know obviously sunscreen again sunscreen 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 um, alpha hydroxy acids vitamins A um, and C derivatives now superficial or light peels which sounds so much better you know <laughs> it doesn't sound as like ouch as the other two and these are um their most they're the most popular because it doesn't take that long it doesn't take that much time to perform so that's why they are more commonly used all right they consist of either alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids with anti irritants all right and they exfoliate a lot deeper than like your um like at home exfoliants they help to un unclog your pores um uh, increase the co the collagen production to smooth um smooth out your skin surface all right now they do help to fade lines and wrinkles and they are also like uh, they're less irritating than any other chemical peel process again these are the light peels so now glycolic acid is mainly used this is one of like the most popular ingredients that are used just because the molecular size or the molecular structure is so small um it's a lot smaller than the other acids that i had mentioned in my last video like the lactic acid malic acid tartaric is it's the smallest of all the acids so it's going to penetrate your skin a lot faster and and um deeper and Alpha hydroxy acids, I don't know if you guys may or may not know, but they're natural occurring compounds and um, glycolic acid is actually derived from sugarcane. So just a little fact right there that maybe you knew, maybe you didn't, but now you know. Let's see. All right. Sorry, I'm looking down on my notes. Okay, so now you can get like a 20 to 30 percent concentration done at a spa or salon. Well, I would say like a spa in a in a in a treatment room you can get a 20 of up to 30 percent concentration as well as in a physician's office but if you want anything deeper than um 20 to 30 percent something like 50 to 70 percent it can only be done at a physician's office because that is more lethal obviously now even like <coughs> excuse me even at higher concentrations it's like Although glycolic acid does cause, you know, it does irritate, you know, especially if you have more of a sensitive skin, 
is going to be kind of irritating um but it is still a mild peeling agent comparing to like laser resurfacing which is a deeper peeling agent and i'm going to be talking about that in a future video so look out for that um so you know although it is like you might consider it strong comparing to laser resurfacing it is much more milder all right so kind of keep that in mind like you won't get the final results as you would get from like a laser resurfacing pretty much that was that's what i was trying to say okay so it does work great on on um like uh, freckles and melasma so pigmentation issues and with continued use your skin will become um brighter in your complexion all right so it's gonna it's gonna even out your skin tone it's gonna look nice and evened out and brighter so that's what you want right right and it gives um it gives slight improvement in fine lines and wrinkles again because they're more they're formed deeper down in the dermis so if they are um you know if they're superficial lines then it's it's gonna it's gonna help it's gonna benefit it to some degree and it doesn't really have any minimal like it, it has minimal um benefits or uh, minimal effects on acne scarring but i'm gonna be talking about microdermabrasion which is like I, I don't know if i mentioned in the beginning of the video but it's like awesome you're like literally sanding your face and it's really really good for acne like superficial acne scarring so look out for that video now you require it requires a series of up to six um treatments it can be done once a week or once a month depending on the intensity of the peel as well as the client's schedule or your schedule also with every like after the initial visit um every visit after that you're gonna they're gonna build up the concentration and the contact time of the peel all right so remember that and it, there is no downtime there they kind of call this like you can do this like in your lunch break type so <clears throat> there is no downtime and it, and it costs about 125 dollars for either a beta hydroxy acid peel or a alpha hydroxy a alpha hydroxy acid peel now the home care pretty much to keep up the results you're going to be recommended like glycolic acid creams which can be used twice a day or once every other day depending on how sensitive you feel and also um it can be used with other any any other cleansers or moisturizers that you might have if you have like acneic or oilier skin just make sure that the products that you're using at home are non-comedogenic and non-irritating let's see also <sighs> oh they can also be used with topical um not be used but they're also probably going to recommend like vi um, topical vitamin a products and some vitamin c containing products or vitamin c derivatives also a quick warning when using any products that contain like glycolic acid there's going to be some mild tingling on your skin and that's usually with like the first initial um when you initially put it on after that it should subside it's nothing like really uncomfortable and nothing that's gonna you feel like your face is burning off is nothing like that it's very mild so again it all depends on how like how sensitive you happen to be and just make sure that it's applied on skin that is not that is that is dry so because any moisture left on the skin is going to make the acid more active and it, it is going to increase that tingling sensation now because <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me sorry about that <laughs> too bad I don't edit I don't I would have edited that out but I don't anyway so like I was saying so once um because it's gonna make your skin more a bit more drier and maybe flakier um, but once like your old skin has been sloughed off and your new like like your new smoother skin comes through your complexion will be like more even and youthful so just kind of keep that in mind it, you might go through stages where your skin might feel a little tighter or just flakier and stuff but just know that the end, re end result is going to be nice your complexion is going to be smoother even and brighter so that pretty much concludes my two cents on the peel so i kind of separated that that's like the categories of medium the deep medium and <clears throat> and superficial or light and i hope that you guys got some understanding and if you guys were um you know trying to figure out if that's what you guys wanted to do 
here it is. So God bless you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.